Hey guys, finally getting the corners video done, and then once this is uploaded, I'm going to start to work on the nickel video. So, I'll get the nickel and the corners done today, and then all I have left is the safeties. Alright, let's get started with Marshawn Lattimore from Ohio State. He's six foot, 193 pounds. He's got great instincts. He's going to wrap up when he's tackling. Always a good thing if you're able to wrap up when you're tackling. Because you don't get in the first time, hey, you still have a chance. And he's able to get into the backfield on screens and running plays. When you're a corner, that just adds value to you. But he was a one-year starter. That's a little bit of a negative. He needs to learn off coverage. He needs to learn how to play off. Little, that is a negative. That really is a negative. If you have to learn how to play a certain coverage. And he needs to work on his recovery against speed. Because if you are not good against speed, if you can't recover against a speeder, against a fast receiver, you're going to get toast. All right. Marlon Humphrey from Alabama. He's six foot, 197 pounds. He's very athletic. He's, got an, he's aggressive when he's playing press. And what I mean by that is he's just going to go up, hit the receiver. He's going to use that five yard range to its max because he wants to get the receiver off the rat as quickly as he can and he gets through blocks he's not going to get blocked he does not want to get blocked he'll just get right through them. all right now while he is aggressive he's impatient when he's playing press he also has sloppy feet and at times he will rely on his athletics too much you do that you rely on your athletics a little too much you're going to get killed so that's what he needs to work on. But that's very coachable stuff. That's very coachable. Kevin King from Washington. He's 6'3", 200 pounds. Let's start off with the height. He's 6'3". You don't see a lot of that. You don't see a lot of corners in the draft that are 6'3". That adds value. What, uh, what also adds value is that he's played all four DB spots. So he's been at both corners. He's been a safety. I mean, he's been a free safety and a strong safety, and he's played in the slot, too. That just adds value. And he's patient in press. Unlike Humphrey, he's patient when he's playing press. And he's also got great instincts like Lattimore does. However, his play speed, he needs to work on that. He ran a full fourth of combine, doesn't show on tape. He needs to work on his upper body strength. It's the same thing with uh, Humphrey. His feet are not where you want it to be. He doesn't have that twitch that you'd like to see in corners. And he needs to work on his tackling, unlike Lattimore, who likes to wrap up. Kane needs to work on that. Okay, and Gary on Conley, Lattimore's teammate at Ohio State. He's also six foot, 195 pounds. This guy plays long. What I mean by that is he's got long arms. Whenever you're a defender, you have long arms. It's always good. It doesn't matter what position you're playing. You have long arms, you have that advantage over the offense. He's very disciplined too. And he's got soft hands. Very soft hands. And he's got great ball timing, as in he knows when to go up and get that ball. And he's got great instincts too. Now, he's tight-hipped. That's going to get him into trouble because you're trying, because when you're tight-hipped, you're trying to backpedal, then you got to turn. You have tight hips. It's not going to be as smooth as a guy that's able to get in and out very quickly. In and out of the back pedal very quickly. And he's going to get tricked with some patterns. He gets tricked on some patterns. That's what Michigan did to him. They tricked him with some of their patterns. And it's the same thing with Lattimore playing off. He needs to learn how to play off as well. And he's going to get blocked. He gets blocked from time to time. So... That's what the that's what he needs to work on, and then Fabian Morrow from UCLA. Sorry if I did not pronounce that right. He's six foot, two hundred and six pounds. This guy's a former running back. Remember that he's a former running back, and he has improved every single year since he's been a corner. That's really good. You see a guy that keeps improving as they're playing the position. That adds value because that shows you, hey, this guy knows what he needs to get better at. And he's another guy. He's going to wrap up when he's tackling. He's another guy that's patient in press. He's also very physical and very athletic. He was a former running back, but now a corner. He has to be very athletic if you're able to make that transaction. 
Now he's limited in some coverages. That's going to decrease his value a little bit. His instincts, remember, he has not been a corner as long as these other guys, so he doesn't have the instincts that some of these guys do. And he's gotten into trouble with penalties, including PIs and defensive holding. He's gotten into problems with that. It's always a negative when you get into when you get into trouble with penalties. And he's slow to track the ball. But like I said, he's a former running back. He's still learning how to play the position. This guy keeps growing. He's probably going to be a starter in this league. In fact, all these guys are probably going to be starters in this league if they keep improving on what they need to improve on. All right, that was the corners. I'll see you guys for the nickels.